When will you lay down your tools of murder, sir? When will you lay them down? When will you stop taking bribes to shed innocent blood? Is that what you think? You don't have an answer for what you think about gay and lesbian? I do. Can I please talk to you guys, please? Young lady, please. Ma'am, ma'am, please. All three of you guys just play with your phones? Is that what takes up most of your time? Playing with your phones like little children? We have the, the gates of hell right here. I mean, we, we have an actual a line between death and life. Yeah. Between a, obedience to God's law and disobedience between them. Yeah. So we stand here at gates of hell in joy and, and confidence because we know who our king is. We know who the king on the throne has always been, is today, and always will be. You don't have any answers, Eve. Because you're all about exploiting the girls. Yeah, it brings nervous laughter to your face. You're a very nervous person. You don't have to be, though. You can understand how life works if you understand the God who made you. Oh, yeah. The clan would be very happy with that and happy with you, with what you're doing today. Seeing you escort black babies in to get killed. You know they would cheer for you. Yes, so yes, you are part of the, you are indirectly supporting the Klan, yes. Yeah, it's clear that, it's clear that you have no valid reasons, no valid reasons for, um, you know, choosing to exploit women other than just selfishness. Selfishness is at the root of abortion. Selfishness of the men, selfishness of the women with no thought about at all for the rights of the, the millions of young women killed by abortion that never get to exercise any of their rights. So it's the most anti-women movement in history, bar none. Since the time of Adam, we've told the Father that we'll do it our way. And our disobedience always brings disaster. Get our pictures. I want to be known that I stood against the exploitation of little girls and little boys and women. Young man, young man, please let us talk to you guys first. Can we talk to you? Why so nervous, young lady? Why so pitifully nervous? Life's happening all around you, and you're just being used as a puppet here. Young man, there still may be time to go in there and help your girl. You guys, there's, you can change your mind now. Young man, you can actually be the first guy today that acts like a man. If you love her, young lady, watch him. Look at his face. If he loves you, he will not walk you through that door. You have a chance to do the right thing and not be part of this cattle drive of slaughtering young boys and girls. God loves and rescues the sexually immoral too. They're not any more sinful than adulterers or people that molest their kids and that kind of stuff. They're, in the, they're, they're sinners or sinners. 
I was one too. I can't shake my fist or. You still have a chance to do the right thing, sir. You can do something right now. You can go in there and be the first guy that acts like a man today. Let me talk to you for a second, sir. Please don't be a coward. Well, you two guys are in good company today. There's a lot of cowardly men here today. You need to talk to me before you go in there. Talk to me. You don't have to be a coward like these other guys. You can be the first guy who acts like a man today by helping women and children instead of exploiting them. Like the girl holding the camera. Young man, please don't come back to this place, young lady. Please don't come back to this place of destruction and pain and death and the exploitation of women. So yeah, you're, the pro-choice movement is the most exploitive movement against women. Can I talk to you girls for a minute, please? created by random chance, you're just going to hold your phone. Do you believe that you're a cosmic accident? I don't think you do. I don't think that you believe that love or hate or planes or zoos or people or buildings, I don't think that you believe that all that came because some cosmic goop was floating around and got shocked or something, or Martians planted something, and all of a sudden here you are. I don't think you believe that, but you must believe something like that if you don't believe that God created it. So your, your, silence, your silence indicates that you don't know, or you're afraid to think about it. Lay down your weapons What about you, do you have a voice? You girls don't have any answers. You don't. You don't have any opinions on why you're here. Today is the day of salvation. Who you are, why you're here. You have no opinion on that. You just suppress the truth and unrighteousness. You know the truth. Everybody knows that God exists. God exists. You know that God exists. But you suppress that truth and unrighteousness. And I did that once. Young lady, can we talk to you before you go in there? These people don't care about you, young man. Young man, do you look this way? Please don't go in there. Don't be part of this. You still have a chance to do the right thing. Real men protect women and children. 
You have a chance to do that today. Or you can exploit that girl while these people laugh all the way to the bank. Young lady, can I talk to you before you go in there? Or one of the girls up front, please let me talk to you for a second. You gotta show us all. So lady, do you have any answers yet for why you're here, where you're going, what life's about? What it means to you. Holy Spirit. Do you have any answers for that? God. Why are you here? What's life about? Where are you going? There's answers for all of those clear answers. But you're suppressing the truth in unrighteousness. Everybody knows that God exists. I did this one time. I did it. I was the first in line in 1973. I know what it is. Sir, please go back while there's still time. <laughs> Why so frightened, young lady? So scared. So scared of life. There's still time, sir. There's still time to do the right thing. Yeah, he's crossing himself. Doing this, morning. this girl can't even find a place to park in here. before you do this thing.